So hello everybody and welcome to a Power Query slash data visualization video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about data densification. This is a concept that top level people they, they understand very well. So hello everybody and welcome to a Power Query slash database video. I am going to show you how you can transform or how you need to transform your data in order to create visualizations like the one I'm showing you now, where instead of showing things in a bar chart, the bar chart is like broken into its pieces. Okay, these, as I understand, is called data densification in Tableau, and I think it just the name is very good for what it actually does. So. Let me show you how to do this in Power Query or Power BI. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so Makeover Monday 2020, week three, they had a challenge to visualize the sugar intake for adults, children, and uh, in different ages, age categories. So let me show you. This is a visualization that was made by Mati. Not exactly the same. I've modified a little bit just to push the article a little bit further. And as you can see here, this is basically a bar chart, but it's broken into its parts. So the sugar intake for a person is recommended to be at 5%. And as you can see, both children's nodules are consuming way more than they should. The neat part about, because, you know, the normal way that you would do it probably in Power BI is to create a bar chart, right? And then you could maybe have a constant line here saying 5%. Uh, you could actually have a constant line here that says by, and then you need to go to the x-axis and have it start at zero. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so that makes more sense. Um, and uh, yeah, you, with coloring, you could actually say, okay, this is that much you're consuming. Now, the thing is that if you actually break down this into parts, like I did here, you can actually conditional format and highlight how much you are actually consuming with these formats. And I think it's actually very pretty. It actually makes the charts, I think, sometimes more readable if you break it into parts. So the thing is like, how do we do this in Power Query Power BI? It's actually easier than you think. Let me show you. So if we go to Power Query, this is the Makeover Monday again, 2020 week three, the data, you can describe it from data world. And I have here transformed the data a little bit so it will fit for the visualization. So here we have the children and the adults, you know, the segments, the years. And here we have the value. So what we need to do is to break this into its parts. And there is a function in Power Query called list numbers. And list numbers was like this. First, you said what you want the list of numbers to start with. And then you say up to which number, so how many repetitions you want, and then how you want the increments to be by one, by 10, by 100, whatever you want, right? So now that we have that, what we're going to do is create a custom column. And then we're going to do list numbers. And then we start with one, we want up to the value here. Now, this is going to pick the higher, so it's going to round up. If you want to round down before, just round down here, right? Uh, for, me, for me, it doesn't matter. So if it rounds up, it's fine. Um, and this will create a list. Let me show you. You see up here, a list of numbers between one and the number that you chose one by one. And this is exactly what we need in order to densify the data. So once you have that, you just open it up, extract two new rows, and voila. And this is the, come here, this is what I did, you can see here. I call it the column rows in order to be able to break the bar charts into pieces. And with that, you can, and with that, you can create this type of charts, not just this chart, but this type of charts. So it's actually pretty easy, isn't it? A similar technique is used to create the dates between two dates. You know, sometimes you have like, okay, project start date, project end date, and you want to fill in the dates in between to be able to plot things. 
I have a video about that. It uses a similar technique, but with dates. So I'm going to post it there so you can see it. And uh, this is all for today. I will see you again on Thursday with another video. Until then, take care.